you like that topic, it sounds like. You better wait to hear what I say before you applaud, though. You might not like it. It might not motivate you. So let's start with a definition of motivation. Motivation is basically a drive to accomplish a goal. Motivation is a drive to accomplish a goal. You have a desire or an enthusiasm to accomplish your goals. And today's talk is not to spend so much time defining motivation, but to talk about how to do it. I think that motivation is related to our value of love of learning, because you have to have a drive or a desire to improve your learning. I think it also takes a great deal of courage, our value of courage, to be motivated. I think it takes courage to be motivated to do something you don't want to do. And motivation at PBS is all about community, because our motivation to learn happens when we motivate each other in a team. So actually, this topic of motivation is very much well-suited for PBS. Now, many smart people have done research on motivation. They've looked at internal motivation, which means you have to have a personal drive from the inside to reach a goal. These same smart people looked at external motivation, which means that you're driven to reach a goal because there's an award or a recognition at the end of doing something well. These researchers didn't say that internal motivation was better than external motivation, but they did say this, and listen up. Actually, what we know is that if you have an internal motivation, you are in the driver's seat. You get to drive your goals. You can be because you need to be in charge of what motivates you and how you do it. But the problem is this. So we understand what motivation is, but how do you be in charge of it? How to be in charge? How to be in charge to move from lower to higher motivation, to be more motivated? So let's face it, it's not possible to have a high desire or to have a high drive to be motivated to do everything. I'm going to talk about that. It's not possible to be highly motivated to do absolutely everything. There's stuff you don't like. So let's find ways to increase our motivation, our internal drive, so that all of us right here can reach our goals. That's what we want to do. We want to be motivated to learn and to reach our goals and to do it well. So to be in the driver's seat, to drive our motivation, I did my own research. Professor Tina Seelig, who is at a local university, she has devised one way to look at motivation, and I added my own thoughts. Here's the first look. Motivation can be a range from high confidence to low confidence, it's really how confident we are about doing something. And motivation is also a range from high passion to low passion. How on fire or driven are you and I about doing something? And I think it's the crossover between confidence and passion that will help us learn to be in charge of our motivation so we can accomplish our learning goals. We need to be in charge of motivation. Now I have a story about this box. Low confidence and low passion. That describes Dr. Erickson as a farmer. <laughs> I spent my first 18 years on the farm. I know how to milk a cow, and I can squirt that milk into a cat's mouth from 10 feet away. <laughs> I know how to drive huge machinery. And that machinery will make your parents' cars look like tiny little ants. So I actually can do farming. But I had low passion and certainly low confidence about farming. My internal drive was super low. And the key point is I still tried hard. I did my best, even with low passion and low confidence. And when I had a chance to choose, 
I chose not to do it anymore. <laughs> so the good news is that my sister's husband and my nephew are passionate about farming. They're also very confident about it. So I outsourced it. Outsourcing means that I got someone else to do the thing I didn't want to do. That is actually one way to look at motivation. Someone else is taking care of the family farm in Iowa, not me. But my job, and your job, my friends, and this is very important, my job and your job is that we have to do our very best until we outsource. 18 years of doing my best until I outsourced. Now, farming is very different than school. For me, school, before I turned 18, was super different than farming. Why? Because it came too easy for me. I was always good at school. High grades, high marks, high achievement, and that was a big problem. Huge problem. Because my confidence was high, but my passion was low. I needed to challenge myself. Not an external reason to be challenged, because that's way too easy. No, I needed to seek out ways to be challenged. I got to choose what college path to take, which university I wanted to go to, and I specifically chose a college path that was designed to be challenging. My job, my friends, and your job is to seek out challenges, not run away from them. You should seek challenges when your passion is low. Now, sometimes on this chart, we have high passion but low confidence about something. For me, that's exercise. <laughs> if you've ever gone with me to the gym, you will know why I have low confidence. I am super highly passionate about exercise. It keeps me healthy. It keeps me energized. It keeps me focused. But when I go to my local gym in San Francisco, I see lots of people who are clearly more confident about lifting weights and exercising than I am. I'm puny. I'm small. I'm not buffed like the other people in the gym. So sometimes what I like to do is to talk to them about my very high grades in high school, because I was really good at that, and they're maybe better at exercising. So what you can sometimes do is be confident about the things you're confident in while you're not confident in the stuff right around you. But here's the deal. Here, I have found that I actually can build up my confidence. Experiment. I have always had high passion for exercise. But what a great way to experiment and increase my confidence in exercising. I'm trying new exercise classes all the time. I've worked with a trainer who is helping me experiment with things I never thought I could do. And I have a gym buddy who helps build my confidence from time to time. My friends, your job and my job is to experiment when we have low confidence. Experiment. And finally, sometimes motivation is cooking. It's strong. Like when we have high passion and high confidence at the same time. So here's the deal. Speaking with you at Gather is in that box for me. I am really passionate about sharing new things with you. I like talking to you about new stuff. I like teaching you new things at Gather. I like provoking your thinking, making you a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. The topics are challenging. The topics take courage. And at the same time, I love public speaking. I always have. I'm confident about it. I love doing it. And when this happens, my job and your job is to go for it. Don't hold back. Go for it. My friends, as you can see, Motivation comes in many shapes and sizes. It's a lot of different stuff. Maybe you can ask your teachers to print this screen, and you can write in these boxes how motivated you feel about particular things and particular tasks and particular learning projects so that you know how to make your motivation stronger. When your confidence is lower than it should be, 
when you're not as confident as you want or should be, then here's the deal. You have got to change your actions. You've got to challenge yourself. You've got to go for it. Or when your passion is lower than it should be, when you're not as passionate as you want to be or you should be, then you've got to change your attitude. You need an attitude adjustment. You've got to experiment, and you've got to go for it. You can outsource later on, but you have to wait for a solution for someone to take over the family farm before you can outsource. So for now, my friends, here's the deal with motivation. Let's all get into the driver's seat. Let's drive our passions. Let's drive our confidence. Let's seek to understand how we're motivated, where we're motivated, so that we can do our very best in school. And the most important message of all that you need to take home and to your classes today, go for it. Thank you. <laughs>